I'm David Miguel. David Miguel. And here's David Miguel. Live in Burbank, David Miguel. I'm David Miguel. Reporter David Miguel. Our School officials are looking for new ways to keep students inside the classroom. This includes attendance, attachment, and achievement. Thanks for watching KYTX CBS 19 News. Log on to CBS19.tv for the latest news from around East Texas and around the world. Have a great evening, and we'll see you at 10. Houses in this San Fernando Valley neighborhood range from 900000 all the way up to $1.9 million. But with views like this one behind me, residents say it is worth every penny. Live in Burbank, David Miguel, Channel 4 News. A helicopter has arrived on the scene to aid the search. It began looking upstream and downstream in search for clues. And shortly after, it found what it was looking for. If you go ahead, do you think that will change the psyche at all of the team? Uh, no, I think our team understands uh, playing 90 minutes. Grace Community Church and Lake Athens Baptist Church suffered extensive damage. CBS 19's Haley Wilgus spent the day in Athens talking to pastors and church members. And what do you say we get another check of the roadways? Sounds like a plan. Here's David Miguel with the latest. Hi there, David. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning, Susan. Another Wednesday morning, another day of traffic. Some good news and some bad news. Let's start off with the bad news. Taking a look now at the Dolphin Expressway as you're passing through the airport. There is an accident to report on the westbound lane. Coming up on CBS 19 Sports, the LA Lakers will be in search of their 12th consecutive win of the season. Also ahead, Brazilian star Ronaldinho is named FIFA Player of the Decade. Tyler Junior College students say they consume four hours of television per day. The question is, how does this affect their grades? The LA Lakers will be in search of their 52nd win of the season tonight against the Dallas Mavericks. A win by LA this evening will also guarantee them their fourth straight appearance in the postseason. Kobe Bryant is also in search of his first ever MVP and with a win tonight. He may well get that. Toyota owners are anxious to get their vehicles fixed. They're hoping to start fixing these vehicles by Friday. It's shipping parts to dealers and training mechanics as it scrambles to repair more than 4 million sticky gas pedals worldwide. Toyota is sending letters to owners of recalled vehicles telling them to bring their cars back into the dealer. The fix should take about half an hour. The victim is identified as 26-year-old Roberto Padilla, who is currently listed in serious condition. This is after he was taken to a nearby hospital. The search is on for a man who abducted a Donnie woman from this shopping center over the weekend. Reports are that the victim was headed to her car when a struggle ensued. The abductor was last seen driving a black 1999 Toyota Tundra. In Downey, David Miguel, Channel 4 News. The Texas Environmental Health Association funded the event, which featured Health Inspector Dolores Martinez as a keynote speaker. Martinez says hygiene is vital to maintaining a healthy environment. Cleaning, hygiene, personal hygiene, establishment hygiene, uh, obviously make sure that the personnel is trained, ask them questions, we ask questions, uh, and that, that determines how prepared they are. The wrong temperature on certain foods could lead to a restaurant being shut down. We have to uh, close them down. We have to say, you know, you have to stop serving to the public due to the fact that you can't maintain temperatures. Health officials say the ideal temperature for beef, pork, and fish is 145 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature also applies to cooked eggs. Chuck and Jillian, back to you. Thank you, David. Now the Northeast Public Health District performs an inspection. Kobe, what will be the key to winning game three on Friday? We got to control the tempo. We got to control the pace. You know, that's always big in Utah. The crowd's going to be into it. We got to do a good job coming out, particularly to start the ball game. Darren, what's the key to you guys getting back into this series? Uh, better defense. You know, that's where it starts. And we we got to have better first halves. You know, we, we fall behind the first half and, and can't really, you know, get back. Okay, we'll talk about Monaco and how it's been with Jerry Fisher back on the team. Three championship wins with Jerry. The team really kept the composure when you got your foul trouble. Talk about that. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, it, it, there was a couple guys that was in foul trouble. Me and myself, um, Derek, uh, Ramonovic. And, uh, you know, we just continue to play. We begin our countdown of the top five goals with Cristiano Ronaldo, who nets the game winner in extra time. Great finish from the Portuguese striker. Man United victorious 2-1 over Sporting. Next on our list, Alejandro Arguello with his right-footed blast, leaving the keeper no chance into the upper V. Wonderful strike from just outside the 18-yard box. Number three, the Colombian international Jairo Patino with a bullet from long distance. The Colombian continues his scoring tear in Argentina. The runner-up on our list is not too shabby either. After the great run by Marcus Rosenberg, the cross, and Boba Carsonogo makes no mistake. Werder Bremen is victorious 3-2 over Real Madrid. The winner of the goal of the week comes from the foot of Maxi Pereira. Uruguayan fakes one way and sends the rocket off the post and into the back of the net. Wonderful goal from the Uruguayan striker. David Miguel, ESPN.